So I want to ask you, because I want to spotlight one of the, the, the laws in your book that I think is, is particularly relevant to this audience. Um, and it's a good one to start with, which is not doubling down on past decisions, right? Law number three, don't double down on past decisions. Can you explain what this law is about and why yes. it's such an important lesson? Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite things to talk about. I stole it from economics. It's actually the, the fallacy of sunk costs. And we engage in sunk cost thinking all over our lives, not just in our jobs. Many people have a friend that they've had for a long time, but don't really like anymore. Why do we continue to spend time with that friend? Because we've invested so much. We do it with relationships, marriages, and we do it with our professions. So very often a person will come to me for coaching, wanting to leave the law or leave their firm or make some kind of change. And the big thing that's stopping them from doing it is, but I've already invested so much in the training, the preparation, the experience, you know? And what difference does it make if you're freaking miserable? And one of the things people don't understand is the difference between an investment and, a, and an expenditure. Like if you're, if you're on a diet and you eat something that you shouldn't, like let's say you have a potato chip, you're probably gonna eat the whole bag because that's the way we're built. You know, I already blew it, so I might as well. <laughs> that is sunk cost thinking. That is doubling down on past decisions. Every potato chip is a new choice that you can make to either eat or not eat. So I find very often people need permission to leave the law because of this idea of investment, but really it's not an investment because investments don't work that way. If I make an investment, it grows, it doesn't grow, but I don't have to keep putting in. If, if that's the root, if that's what's going on, I think you have a job, not an investment. And if it's a job, you're free to leave at any time and do something else. And the, the number of years you spent doing what you were doing were not an investment. They were an expenditure. And how do you know that? Because you have to keep working to keep making money. <laughs> so that's not an investment. Now, I understand you, you grow to a level of prominence or competence and, and you feel that that was the investment. But that doesn't go away. I'm a coach for lawyers now. When I first left the profession of law, all the same things that you just mentioned happened. How can you do that? It's such a great profession. It pays so well. All that was true. I mean, if you make a change, you will be facing naysayers. You will be facing people who think you're making a big mistake. But if the original choice that you made isn't working for you anymore, then you're continuing every single day to make that choice all over again. And it's not leading you in a direction that you want to go. So it's a past decision. You spent time doing it. It's going to help you in the future in some way. You just don't know how. Having been a lawyer helps me every day in what I'm doing now. And I love what I'm doing now. So it wasn't a waste of time. I didn't blow my investment, but I would also say it really wasn't an investment. And every time you're thinking about whether to stay or whether to go, and you start going down the investment road, I would suggest querying yourself about that. Is it an investment? Is it paying off in any way on a regular basis? What am I getting out of it now? Do I have to keep putting in in order to get more?